Okay, Spoonie Lionheart. Best Sea Otter. Paulo Fernandez. And Silage. And Ripple White Ale. And uh, Incarnation. And Pepsi. Hashtag not mad. Everything except Pepsi is from Four Hands. I have water. <laughs> We're all part of one generation. Okay. Um, now... Should we do the Hadoken? Because if we're, um, if I'm going to be passing the controller, I don't want to lose time with everyone trying to Hadoken everything. I can Hadoken uh, everything, but it's a little tricky. Let's just do it for the audience. Okay. It's Mega Man X. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um. I have... Uh, this is my favorite jump in any video game. Yeah. That's nice. So much fun. <laughs> ah, fuck you. I can't wait until we get to the PlayStation games. Ooh. Which ones are those? Mega Man X 4, 5, and 6. Uh... And I recently beat X5, and uh, now that I have an understanding of how it works, it's not a really good game. <laughs> I mean, it, it controls really well, but... Like, a lot of how things are spaced out. Like, if you want to get 100%, you have to follow a very specific set of stage selections. Mm. And, oh. uh, <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Dying's part of the process. Really? <laughs> yes. Mm. I remember reading this, uh, I was in Arizona at the Foothills Mall. Anyone in Tucson, comment if that mall still exists. But I was reading in some game magazine back when you... Whatever. And, uh, Back when those were a thing. yeah, um, they kind of still are, I think, because Game Informer is still a thing. Oh, yeah, I have so many copies of that. But, um, and it like mentioned that if you like die at the end of Armored Armadillo stage like four times, then you get the Hadoken from Super Street Fighter. And so, uh, we're gonna do just that. All right, and this is gonna be an extra special longer episode because we're just we haven't beaten a game on uh, Awkward Futon yet, and so... That's true. We're going to get a start, starting game, not finishing them. We need to finish 7. Oh, we finished Resident Evil 2 and uh, Resident Evil 2. We not going to lie, not going to lie. I would have been perfectly satisfied and amused if we just, uh... If the first game we finished was, like, Echo Para. Oh my god! <laughs> like, how long is it gonna take for I would have been amused too, yeah. If How long is it gonna take for any of us to finish those? Oh yeah. Considering it's, we... It's it's all random. It's all random. We randomly it's, pick whatever visual novel we're gonna pretty... do an episode of. Oh god, god yeah. Usually. Yeah. I had so much fun with Love Comedy, though. Oh, Love Comedy, great. Oh yeah. I only saw, like, the first... Because I'm really curious how Faulty Signs works without me. Because I'm kind of outspoken, so... Well, we've got a... Paul and I did my first run of Long Live the Queen, and it was it just was Paul just and us. I. us. <laughs> and I think that one was pretty good. I yeah. think it did. Now, our friend Eric Neighbor is coming back in town. That should make Faulty Signs interesting. Cause I'm going to tell an Eric Neighbor story. This Eric is a uh, oversized, jovial Nordic man with an amazing beard... And the best smile you'll ever see, and you'll know that if you fuck with him, you'll die. That's so, our friend Eric. But he has an amazing sense of humor, and he's not even aware of it. And so... He's also a furry, I believe. I've met him once. That doesn't matter. Um, but you wouldn't know it if you met him. He's one of those furries who's like, that's just who I am. It's not like an excuse to annoy the public. Yeah. Like those furries on the news that like go to playgrounds like entertain the kid. But uh, anyways, <laughs> story about our friend Eric. Um, I was staying the night at his place, and uh, he had a twin-sized bed, and I was sleeping on the floor, and we were keeping each other, like, we could not fall asleep, and so we kept, like, thinking of things to say one another. And and just as a bro thing, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm gay, whatever, but I wasn't <laughs> gay in the instance that I didn't want to, like, share a bed with him. I was just like, oh, your body heat. And it's like, oh, that's that's cool. He's like, yeah, you know, my body heat's pretty bad. And then I said to Eric, um, you know, with your spectacular body heat, where were you when the machines destroyed the world and created the Matrix? And Eric says, oh, I was sitting in a cave eating a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Without a second thought, that was the first...
first thing that came to his head. <laughs> as an excuse. <laughs> that's that's gotta be one amazing cookie. Uh actually, yeah. Talking to Eric when you're trying to fall asleep but can't leads to some interesting results. Oh, it's amazing. Because uh I remember back in high school. Uh we went on this like tangent that I I think we were talking about like making a movie, but the, like but like where uh, the narrator doesn't want to be in the movie, so he tries to <laughs> fuck with all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> and so he like tries to fuck with the main character by coming up with super ridiculous scenarios, and uh, basically the main character is like living life, enjoying everything and whatever. And it's like, and as he was doing that, he was dismembered by a raging platypus. <laughs> There we go. All right. And he's wearing oh, the key. Shit. Paul, this is you. I give you a special present. Now, enter the capsule, please. No, it's the anal intruder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> get away. Get, get the fuck away. <laughs> okay. oh, God. It even says it. It even says it. Everyone on the internet knows this, but it's so great. It's so great. Oh, that's adorable. Oh. I'm trying to get the timing down because. And this one shot like a... awesome. Yes. Nice. It deals exactly 32 points of damage, which every boss has 30. The only boss it doesn't work on is the final final sigma, mm. which I've been playing this since it came out, and I'm still nervous about that boss. So, um, I don't know. Sigma's portrait. He also looks nervous. He looks slightly annoyed. He looks like Eric just ate his cookie and ran into a cave. He looks like someone All right. took the parking spot he was trying to get in, in the mall parking lot. I'm calling serious time for the yeah. first 15 seconds of this song. Alright. Never mind, I got a voice act. Let's split up! I'll go in first, and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Hmm. Ex doesn't say much in this game. He really doesn't. Very still hero. I'm so happy I'm off on uh, Saturday and Sunday. I'm off from Bowie. And I think I'm off from Papa John's on Sunday. So I can try to go to church and uh, spend the day with my parents. So. That'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also off on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you trying to invite yourself? Because I'd say yes. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, let's fucking hang out at Brown Eleven. Say hi to the kitties, go out to eat. Hi. Watch some, uh... Better Call Saul. Yeah, let's do that. I was thinking of... I do want to watch Robocop with my dad, but mm -hmm. my parents don't have... They have a Roku, but not a Blu-ray player. Ah. So, um... That's... My Blu-ray player has a Roku in it. Sweet! Hi. That's cool. It's got, like, built-in Netflix. Oh. So we can watch Love on a Leash and Majestic Thunderbolt yes. on YouTube. <laughs> uh, how does this sound for tomorrow's menu? Um, I'm going to start the night with a happening, because most people know about that. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I wanted to start with a movie that is funny, but other people are okay missing. And then I was on IMDb looking at... Um, somebody compiled a list of films that were on my B-Movie Blast Pack. Mm -hmm. And Shit. one of them is called Hellcats, about female bikers. Oh, yeah. And uh, all the reviews were one and two stars, and they said, where's the plot to this movie? It doesn't make sense. And then I wanted to finish the night, and I already have Paul's approval, but I want to hear everyone else's opinion. With the cinematic anarchy masterpiece, Freddy Got Fingered. Mm. I mean, I can't make it tomorrow either way, so... Oh... I am. I'm catering, and that's right a, that's an all day affair. Usually. Does that mean Alex can't make it? Yeah, sadly. You know what? Let's just play video games tomorrow night then. I'd be down for that. Just oh, me, shit. Maggie, and Paul like trade off playing Resident Evil Five, and uh, yeah. just have a. Because next Saturday I have a lot planned. I have a special short film planned, and um. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, we still gotta still gotta do that uh, Scooby-Doo movie marathon. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll do that after the 6th. Yeah. 
because Aaron needs to be present for that, and I don't think he'll be present for the... Well, the 6th, we have, um... I thought it was the 8th. The 8th, right, you're right, but, um... I'm showing, uh, Flash Gordon. Ah. Exactly. Ah, good old Flash <laughs> To, uh, Gordon. Jackie and John mm. and Carter. Oh, that's right, Jackie wasn't there, because... We texted her a screenshot from it. And she was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's, it, it's incredible. It's like if you took your bathtub toys and made a movie, it'd be Flash Gordon. Aww. It's so deliciously childish. Oh, 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 okay. oh my god. The problem is, when they move, something fucks with your ability to dash jump. Mm. Huh. And so it's really difficult. Like, this is the hardest platforming part of the game, bar none. Oh. Okay, it's fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it till I beat it. Yep. Ah, that's good. Good. I really like the, uh, the effect of the bubble shield here. Yeah, I love the... It looks really cool. Graphically, this game is just... It's very impressive. Yeah. The game that really pushes the Super Nintendo to the absolute maximum limit is uh, Yoshi's Island. Oh. That is a beautiful, beautiful game, and it still holds up. Okay. Super Mario RPG is also pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember who was involved in that, but yeah, it's... Yoink. Um... <laughs> the legs don't have hitboxes? Ah. Hey, it's a guy. Stay back, X. I'll take him on. Good to know. I never realized how little dialogue was in this game until I started paying attention to it. <laughs> and they're gone. By yeah. some people's measurements, that's a really good thing. Fighting stance. Who wants to do vile? X. Maggie. Oh. Do vile. Okay. <clears throat> but Maggie's X. No, I'm X. Okay, Maggie, do vile. Alright. I'm X. sorry, Psywitch, do vile. Okay. <laughs> What I tell you. Oh, do it. Don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. My armored carrier is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Bile sounds like a witch. I tried to give him a. Alfred like, Ashford. Yeah, yeah, I tried to do it. Pull an Alfred Ashford. Did did he just, like, sit on Zero's face multiple times? Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I saw that right. Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, Self-destruct. Zero pulled a Chotsu. I'm not a Pokemon. Chotsu! <laughs> We already wished you back with the Dragon Balls once. We can't do it again. <laughs> Wait, what? What a worthless gesture. Jester. I can't be defeated so easily. Voice changed again. That's why Zero was sealed away by Dr. Wily to fight another day. Because he was a worthless jester. <laughs> he couldn't tell a joke. He's... <laughs> I did that on purpose. No, X. It's just you. He was only yeah. programmed with knock-knock jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but they were bad, like knock-knock. Was there? Banana. Banana who? Banana split. What the? Where did that energy come from? Oh no! It's the power of friendship! <laughs> it really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, Max. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated! No, he kind of looks like a more flamboyant War Machine. I was gonna say War Machine makes me feel like that. Yeah. He doesn't even get the dignity of an on-screen death. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and off-screen, some things exploded. Oh. X, I've taken too much damage. <coughs> I can't feel my Auto legs. repair system can't handle it. <laughs> My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. Maybe 
You can destroy Sigma. It will only take you six games to do it. Eight. Eight games to do it. Plus Command Mission and Mega Man Extreme 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Color. It will only take you 11 games to do it. Okay. I think that matters. Right. Now, what is my reward if I Hadoken the Spider Boss? Because this, this upcoming boss... Well, we're going to refight Kuwanger. But this upcoming boss is my least favorite boss in Mega Man history. Like, this guy... His hitbox is... His hitbox is a gay guy in a really, really oppressive Christian church. It's like, ah, I'm getting on that. I'm getting on that. <laughs> like, it's just so fleeting and trying to hit it with a Hadoken. So fucking... Ugh. I don't remember that power-up. Where is... Oh, that's... You get it from uh, Octopus. Yeah, launch guy. Launch Octopus. Launch guy. Launch <laughs> guy. Uh, Paul... He's, he's forgettable, just like launch from uh, so, Dragon somebody, Ball. Somebody give Paul the sketchbook, and he needs to draw us a picture of launch guy. Where's the sketchbook? Uh, there should be some in the, uh... Where my... Bluetooth speakers are in the back. Um... Okay. Uh... So I want to see what Launch Guy looks like, according to Paul Downing. <laughs> uh, I think to save time, I'll just try a Hadoken once, and if it doesn't work, I'll just kill him with his weakness. But all right, I fucking hate this guy so much. <sighs> his hitbox is the sale on clothing by Supreme. Ah! Oh. Okay. No. Oh, Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Yeah, he's gonna lose it. Ah. No, I I want to save my sub tanks for the rest. Because I don't want to spend the rest of the episode filling up sub tanks, so. This is an idea. Ah, mini spider box. This guy is such. such bullshit. Like, he's even worse than the Spider Boss in Metroid Fusion. A few things are worse than that boss. Mm. Like me um. trying to fight Shinobu and no more heroes. Yeah. Oh, no, I could have no, dodged no. that. That was, that was my fault. You just gotta kind of read the webs. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> this guy has really good AI, actually. I'm trying to think, like, in my head how much of a nightmare it was to program this. Um, yeah. I mean, it's all about kind of... With this, at least, it's about good programming. And yeah. It's like, <laughs> not bullshit. I mean, they've probably got, like, different things for each of the, uh... Um... Like, the individual pillars, and then it'll auto-generate. Yeah, um, a... Where the connecting points go, and it's like, alright, well... It, it goes down that. each iteration kind of like an array. Um, and when it sees that a yes! web has... Yeah, when it sees that a web has appeared, <laughs> it goes in the direction that web is indicating. So it's somewhat predictable. In a, in a sense. Like, at the very least, obviously I don't know the base code of it, but that's that's more or less probably how like I'd approach it, making it. And then in 2001, they made Mega Man X6. Um, Matt? Okay, I guess we're starting the Sigma level. Another Sigma level. Uh, Don't think about it, just do it, Paul. Oh yeah, he's still drawn. He's drawn launch guy. And I'm not gonna... Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, you wanna uh, play Paul or... That was a, that was a yeah. botch. Captain Botch I, from Damascus. I'm <laughs> Captain Botch from Damascus. Don't listen to Launch Guy's lies. <laughs> okay. Well, that was it. Did you want to try, Maggie? Um, sure. My hands are clean. What's that supposed to mean? It, it means I was eating pizza earlier and I washed my hands. Mm. Hmm, a likely story. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was furiously fingering myself. 
Well, you did mention the last episode your vibrator broke. Oh, God. So. Um. <laughs> yeah, it just stopped working for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. I eventually went a completely darker route than what you were <laughs> suggesting. Well, you gotta t tell it now. What did you think I meant? Oh, I thought, I thought you just got done, like, murdering shit. Oh, no. That's why your hands were dirty. See, that's, like, okay, but, like, talking about masturbation on stream, that's... But, like, we're super well, comfortable, that, but most people aren't. That depends, uh, that depends on the uh, audience and the nature of the stream. Like, we're not trying We're not yeah, trying to appeal to them kids. Depends on what country yeah. we're in. Yeah. That is also true. Yeah, American girls... You know Americans don't like... Don't like sex. You gotta yeah, keep we... those Puritan values. <laughs> no, we like sex, we just don't like... Talking offending. about it. Yeah. And admitting that we like it. Like, the truth is offensive and inconvenient for public relations. Oh! I hate... There we go. Yeah. Because he, like, puffs his chest up and then it's invincible and... Mm. If there's one thing that truly baffles me about America, it's that we have... One of, if not the biggest porn industry in the entire world, yet prostitution is still illegal. Unless you film it and put it on YouTube. Then it's legal. Huh. So you can pay a woman for sex, but your buddy Steve has to be in the corner filming it. What I find fascinating about America is pets have better health care than most humans in other countries. That's... Yeah. yeah that's... I just delivered to a uh, establishment today called Treats Unleashed. Oh. And it smelled better than most bakeries I've ever been in. Like, they handcraft and frost and, like, yeah, calculate. There's one on uh, Manchester. Like, I like worshipping Jesus in scripture. I don't know about dogs. But... No, dogs totally worship Jesus in scripture. Oh, well, they do, yeah. but, like, we yeah. worship them with treats. I don't know if we necessarily worship them. With like, gold frankincense and doggy cake. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm kind of peeking at Paul's drawing, and I'm loving this. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I mean, the ancient Egyptians worshipped cats. They did, yeah. It can be argued we still worship cats today. We kind of do. It's like I mean, I mean, to be fair, look what happened when we, when we like really hated cats. We have really we had an influx of the rat population, which led to the spread of the bubonic plague. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, maybe respect cats, bitches. This boss has the best name, Ranga Banga. Oh. oh. Well, you know, wow, what, you what know else spread the bubonic plague? Not taking showers. Oh yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> wiping your ass with corn cobs, you know. I, and uh, and uh, I Asians. Thought, I thought you were going to say Nazis. <laughs> what for a the, mo the Mongols? Yeah. Nazis. The anal intruder caused the bubonic yeah. plague. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, you gotta clean that thing. Yeah, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm sure there are many cases where cases of the, anal the intruders fleas, in the warehouse. The fleas that actually carried the bubonic plague did crawl up someone's ass and bite them. Yes. <laughs> Which is where we get the saying, what crawled up your ass? Yep. The anal intruder crawled up my ass. It's like the scene in Once Upon a Time in Mexico where the, the guitar case grows wheels and like becomes a tank. But it's like the anal intruder grew wheels and crawled up my ass. It's, it's perfectly logical. Yeah, I wonder... I, I think it's in South America. There's like, uh, there's like some sort of fish that... Um, Intrude anuses? No, it crawls up your dick. Oh! <laughs> So, oh, yeah. probably in there, it's not what crawl up your ass, it's what what swam up your dick? <laughs> the ureal thra, like eel, your eel thra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like a, it's like a fish the size of a minnow. Yeah, it's like a minnow fish. <laughs> mm. But it... <laughs> yeah. Nature is weird. Oh, yeah. But oh, so cool. There's a certain species of jellyfish that's basically immortal because it can, like, eat itself and go back to its normal stage. Now, just in case my creation sins, we have this fish to crawl up their dick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> As a punishment. Oh, get the spark out. We didn't get to see this until now. Let's see, what's the spark? Uh, this? Nope. That's ice. Nope. That. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Oh. Ow. I don't know how I feel about sure. that. I don't 
don't like this new weakness to electricity. Ah. Ah. Mega, he just lost his armor. This is Drillbird. Well. Drillbird. Got him. And he didn't die. Yeah! I beat a boss! You see, usually they take a good drawing and make it look like that in PlayStation 1. But that uh, goes right under it, the uh, you know what? Launch guy. I'm not I'm not telling him when to edit it in. I love I'll, it. Let, I'll let him choose. I uh yeah, I love it. <laughs> I like his feet. That's great. I like launch guy's feet. I like launch guy's hat that just says guy on it. And he has a tie. So you know he's launch guy. Yeah, I like that he has a tie as well. Yeah. Well, Maggie, stop being all high and mighty. You draw launch gal. Launch gal? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, what's the... That's what I don't care. What was I being high and mighty? I don't know. I just... <laughs> I wanted an excuse to transition to you drawing. Oh. Okay, there we go. Gotta do a dash jump. Yeah, hold on. Let's just... Get it with a boomerang. Oh, okay. No, stand under it. Oh, now the bats are back. There we go. Oh no, the bats! <laughs> the bats! Like, try jumping and then shooting. That makes it go down. Yeah. Okay, I guess. There you go. Hey! Get out of here. Alright, we're doing it. Uh, who are we up against? Oh, uh... No, you had to be literally on the right one. Alright, stand in the middle. Now shoot. Ah! Oh, but you want to stay in the middle. Shoot. Shoot him! Now, other side. And keep alternating. Alright. Pretty sure you only have to shoot once. Yeah. Alright. Woo. And there you go. Free. Free boss. Woo! And... Down we go. Woo! That's fine. Now you got the ice weapon. Okay. Ice, right there. Oh, I like how you can change it on transitions. What? That's neat. Yeah, then X2 and 3, you can't do that for some reason. But one great thing about X4, 5, and 6 is you can charge during cutscenes. Yep. Oh, God. It ricochets when you hit the wall. You can literally beat him without looking at him. There you go. Boop. All right. The free boss. It's almost like I got the easy stage. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, what do you think of this uh, white ale? What? 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 Headset disconnected. No microphone I can use. Oh shame. Oh, Hold God. on. Yeah. Oh no. Ah. Give me the controller real quick. Uh, hold on, I'm getting eaten by fish. Yeah. Okay. Now it's your go. Mm. Just use buoyancy. What is buoyancy? Uh, it's what makes you float. You no. graduated from college! <laughs> what is buoyancy? <laughs> no, I thought you were referring to it as, like, an ability. Oh, no, oh. no, um... <laughs> Oh yeah, my favorite Mega Man X power-up, Buoyancy. Buoyancy, yeah. 
It's like he plays Defeating a boat. Defeating this maverick gives me the ability to float in water. It's like the power up is just Mega Man with like an inner tube and floaties and water Yeah. Things. No, you play as an inflatable boat, but you have to like unlock buoyancy. <laughs> to be fair, college is not for general yeah, college. It's for... Uh, what do I need for? Life? Uh, the rolling shield. That one. Oh god, now he's gonna drain your life. Oh no. Ah! I love the look on his face. Ugh. He's really enjoying it. But he doesn't want you to know that. He's... Oh, come on! Okay. I give you launch, girl. <laughs> oh, yes. I kind of went off of Paul trying, but... Oh, nice. man. <laughs> Taggy's man. interpretation of an hourglass figure is... <laughs> uh. This horrible abomination will be edited in. Well, as soon as Paul dies, yeah. it's, uh... It's gonna be nothing but stopping until the game's beaten, so... Nothing but stopping? Yeah. Uh. We're just gonna... Oh, right! <laughs> Damn it. Fucked it up. What? That's... That's it, disconnected. Why is that happening? I don't know. What button? Wait. There we go. Spark. They found it. <laughs> Wait, didn't we fight them already? Yep. Yeah, but I died, so we oh. have to... Redo all this stuff. Everything oh, again. I, I was just drawing something. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Good! Oh. Fucking finally. <laughs> Alright, uh, beat the game. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whatever. Speedrun mode. That's fine. Kind of. I just play aggressively with most games. What? What? No. Fire button. There we go. Right. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I love these death poses. They're great. I want a poster of just all the death poses of every Maverick. <laughs> Like some of the, like some of the death poses in Mega Man X Five are just glorious. The audio's a little delayed for some reason. Ouch. Oh. oh, that's how you do it. We have now Chameleon Man. It's time for some Class A animal abuse. established in a previous episode, they're not animals. Technically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sonic's more of an animal abuser, because all the robots have animals inside them. Oh, yeah. In, uh, in those games. I mean, is it really animal abuse if it's another animal fighting animals? Yes. Yes. Animal abuse animal, if you're Animals are not a homogenous group. Excuse me. Well, I mean... I mean, dog fighting is considered animal abuse. Yeah. Well, well, okay. Let me. And to be fair, despite all the different breeds, they are still the same species. Hence why crossbreeding is a thing, even if it gets really fucking weird. <laughs> yes. I should say that I'm shit with words, and I'm horrible at explaining <laughs> myself. Ooh. What I meant was, oh, is it just it. the law of nature, because they're animals fighting other animals, and it's 
not technically. If anything, Dr. Robotnik's more of the animal user. Because oh, he's yeah. putting these animals into these robots. I think it's animal abuse if you're consciously putting the animal in harm for entertainment purposes. Because we're most capable of animal abuse because we're sentient creatures. Um, yeah. yeah. And we should use our intelligence to govern the animals and use them as food, not as, like, playthings. Yeah. So. Although, to be fair, there are other animals that do, in fact, uh... Do some pretty fucked up shit. Oh my god, yeah, the uh, uh wasp that lays its egg and the yeah, the uh, eel that crawls up your penis, like yeah. Sea otters, despite how much I love them, uh, do in fact drown baby seals <laughs> for their own entertainment. I just love the fact that there are gay penguins. <laughs> um, some dolphins will just instead of you know like their stories of oh a dolphin you know saved a human or whatnot. Uh, sometimes they'll just try to fuck you. Yeah. And apparently, don't, just, don't ask me how I know this, apparently dolphin peni are very dexterous. Hmm. Kind of like the wormy creature in Prometheus. Sure, we'll go with that. The Where it's so like, muscular, it can like break your arm, just twist around it. Oh yeah, that, god, oh, that seems fucking crazy. Meanwhile, in our Mega Man playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in Mega Man X1. <laughs> oh, I get to do this. Mega Man rides along the sushi conveyor belt. Yes. To not find sushi. But instead... You get to get elevated? There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, Still don't know what happened to that drug. That's okay. Fell off. I'm in the process of deep cleaning my house, so maybe we can, uh... He's secretly a member of the pig mask army. Damn it. I'm really obsessed with Hadoukening the bosses. No. Motherfucker. Alright. Can you not Hadouken him? I can. It's just something to do with the iframes. Oh. And, like, when... He's one of the harder bosses, the Hadoken, just because he lands and he, like, gets stunned. And... Yeah. I probably would have whatever. Um, whatever he said. Now this boss is tricky to Hadoken, but it looks amazing when you get it. And it's consistent, but it's just it's a clinch. It's always kind of fun to watch the fact that the conveyor belt is still moving you forward, even though time is froze and yeah. he's exploding. So you're just casually moving past its exploding corpse. Okay. Oh boy. Shoe yeah. comes to me. Hadoken! Alright. Now we have a rejected McDonald's happy. Ah, come on! Boy. Motherfuck. Mm. Nope. That's okay. Like, the idea is when the shoe, like, you stand on the shoe, mm -hmm. and then he, um,. As he's leaning down to close on the shoe, like, he comes within the hitbox of the Hadoken Fireball. Mm. And he always starts with the same attack pattern, so it's a consistent, but it's just... It's clutcher oh. than the stick shift on 18-wheeler from 1902. That's oddly specific. Well, the clutch, you had to, like, lean into it, like, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger and just, like, <laughs> it only had four gears. I don't know, I'm just... I'm metaphors, yeah. All right, uh, there might need to be some editing because I gotta refill my sub tanks and then. Yeah, sure. Sub tank. Sub. Sip. Sub. Sigma! Go. I love how creepy this song is. You know, there are some that will argue that story doesn't matter in video games, but I... There are very few that will argue that good sound design and music don't matter in video games. So we're fighting Sigma's... Oh, shit. Robot Doberman. Fuck! Oh, no. Let's There's nothing on. more frustrating than fucking up a Hadouken, yeah.
Roberman. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of uh, all the dogs in media I can compare this to. I think the most apt is the uh, robot dog friend you get in Metal Gear Revengeance. Compare it to Lassie, because she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. He's a Jedi. Technically, I think he'd be Count Dooku. Okay. Ha! On his toe. <laughs> Fight go! Chopped off his toe! Alright, serious time. This is actually pretty hard. Let's smile though. Oh boy. <laughs> Behold, my greatest creation the gerbil machine. This is Hamtaro if it were a real anime. <laughs> I named my first hamster Hamtaro. From the people who brought you Mobile Suit Gundam. <laughs> Damn it. The Hamtaro remake. Oh, this is so tense. Don't. I just don't want to have to retry it. Isn't that what like avoiding death is all about in video games? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, when I played Metroid Return of Samus. At least 80. That game was really hard. I, I could see the same being Total. true for uh, a first playthrough. Yeah. For yeah. Hinduists and Buddhists, you know, people who believe in reincarnation, it's just kind of like, fuck, I don't want to go through this shit again. <laughs> There's a really great Laurel and Hardy movie, and it's actually public domain, called The Flying Deuces, and it's um. Is that the one where they join the Peace Corps? And... They join the. If you consider the Foreign Legion the Peace Corps. That's what I meant, the Foreign Legion. Yeah. To, like, forget. Anyways, um, yeah. like, there's a scene where his heart is broken and he wants to commit suicide. And what, what's really funny about that scene is, like, he's like, well, I'm not going to commit suicide alone. Like, oh, Stanley, you have to join me. <laughs> <laughs> but then before they jump in, he's like, say Ollie. Oh, we beat the game, whatever. But, oh, cool. Laurel and Hardy's more important. No, oh. it's not Laurel. Let's do it together. I'm a reptile. I can't be destroyed by you. Why, X? Why have you done this to us? Without the humans, my reptile brothers could have ushered in a new age. Trying to do a See you later. <laughs> All right, Paul. We need your most dramatic. We need your most dramatic narration. Actually, Matt hasn't gotten to read, so I'll let Matt read this. Give me a Martin Scorsese performance here. Oscar worthy. Yeah. I don't remember much Martin Scorsese. Well, so. if Scorsese hired you to act, this is how you do it. The war has ended for now, and peace has been restored. But those who sacrifice them selves for the <laughs> victory will never return. Exhausted, X gazes at the destruction he helped cause <laughs> and wonders why he chose to fight. Was there another way? <laughs> <laughs> Standing on the cliff, the answers seem to escape him. He only knows that he'll fight the Mavericks again before he finds his answer. How long will he <laughs> keep, keep on, on fighting? Reading. How long will his pain last? Maybe only the ex-buster on his hand Knows for sure. Dot, 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 dot. Award winning. <laughs> Bravo. Brilliant. So that uh, was Mega Man X, I guess. Yeah, that was Mega Man X. But to finish the Laurel and Hardy story. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just probably end up 
do that before the episode ends. Yeah. So they're about to jump in the river and drown themselves, but he says, um, Say, Ollie, have you ever thought about reincarnation? It's like, reincarnation? What's that? Well, it means that you come back as another animal. Well, I haven't given it much thought. <laughs> I suppose I'd like to be a horse. What about you? Well, I'd like to come back as me. I've always got along swell with me. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the movie, they die in a plane crash, and it's like he comes back as himself, and there's a horse with a, a derby and a mustache. <laughs> there's another fine mess. <laughs> Rolling Gable... Gil, what? Metal Wing, Mole Borer, Baton Bone, Dodge Blaster, Shine Faller, Jamming, or Mega Tolidus, Ladder Yatter! That's the name of the scorpion that Maggie kept fucking with. Oh! The Ladder Yatter. Okay, okay, these are the names of all the, uh... Rangdabenga. T-Rex. You do oh. fight Rangdabenga in Mega Man X5. I can't wait to get to that game. It's just a love letter to all the previous Mega Man and Mega Man X games. And it's a hot mess, but it's a lot of fun. The lore is great. Hey, there's Launch Guy. There's Launch Guy. The guy who launches. Storm Eagle. Monty Mole. Should we just wait till the end of the credits? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen the end credits. Like, Flame Mammoth. I'll look at all all these memories of Brutal Plus, Murder Plus, there's a robots. teaser at the end for Mega Man X2, <laughs> so... After this... Anyways... Yes. A beetle that no one knows. Alf. Great man. You gotta edit Alf in there. Alf. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Guy. Vile, yeah. Sigma. Sigma's so fucking terrifying. Just because you know it's gonna be a hard fight. Yeah. <laughs> what is it with Capcom and, like, nine-foot-tall bald people? You have Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. You have Sagat from Street Fighter. You have Sigma from Mega Man X. Um, they just really don't like whoever, bald people. <laughs> whoever designed these characters in the 90s was like, you know what scares me? Bald people. Yeah. You must be terrified of people like... A good majority of our WWE guys. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, because they're all like. I, I want to say like 50% of wrestlers in the WWE. Reppa are HK. Bald. <laughs> Sound designer. Sound designer. Elf. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Kirby was one of them. Oh, Kirby. oh God. The entire cast. Dr. Coon. <laughs> the entire cast of Elf did the sound Professor design. Professor F. White Honolulu, Rock. Honolulu. What? I've never paid attention oh, to how nonsensical. Sawarian. Gotcha. One of the funniest end credits is the original Castlevania. Special thanks, Capcom. Also. Oh yeah, it's like they take all these famous horror icons, like like uh, Christopher Lee, but then it says like Christopher B. Mm. <laughs> it's mentioned in the it's Castlevania AVGN. It's just <laughs> I think that's... no, we get a special message. Oh, and now a message: buy our more more of our shit. It's good shit. The fact that hey, I'm man, playing this now. You got any more of that Mega Man X? 24 years later. Oh my god. It's amazing. There's just like one kid. Like when Mega oh, Man yes. X was a thing, just like. You have won a temporary victory, Ooh. X. What you destroyed we <laughs> was only a temporary body. My spirit remains lilac. In time, I will find the other body strong enough to do my bidding, and I will return. I shall soon see you very soon. Alright. See ya. Bye, everybody.